Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Um, just want to give an update on the Sansi grow light test. So I've got the time lapse still going. Um, so the one on the left is the 15, and the one on the right is the 30, but actually 23. And these actually ran dry because my little reservoir got clogged, but I got it, I called it in time. This is like just left out in the open because it's a short run experiment. It's got already got algae growing. I think some some of that may have clogged up in the V2, but um, normally I wouldn't run something like this just open like that. But so looking at the 30 watt one, uh, it's kind of dark. It's the roots. Um, both of these have have flowering going on. Some really pretty pink flowers shooting up. Uh, I think this plant was a little smaller than I remember to begin with, um, but it looks looks okay. Uh, the leaves aren't quite as big as the one in the grow tent, but it was wasn't started under the slide either. It was just kind of transplanted. Um, a little bit of leaf damage, like probably from when it ran dry the other day. So, no. but um, it could be when it's growing too close to the light too. So that's that one under the, uh, the 30 watt Sansi grow light, and this is the one under the 15 watt. And to me, the plant looks noticeably bigger. So I've got lots of flowering on this one too, and lots of. Um, I think honestly, I think. The damaged leaves just from where it's growing too close to the light. That's a lot of um, PPFD values pretty high at that short of a range. So these, I think I'm getting damage just from, from it being too close. Maybe running dry too the other day didn't help it. But the leaves weren't totally wilted. They were just starting to wilt. And I got some more back in there. But that's the roots look on there. Um, yeah, this one was a little bigger starting out, but overall the plant, I think I've gotten more growth on this plant under the 15 watt, and I think that's mostly due to the fact of the way these, um, and you can see in my first video when I did the car readings, this is a much more focused light, so it's it's a bearing in a narrow, much more narrow range, but it's more intense, whereas the 30 watt is more diffused and it, it's going to spread out over a little bigger area but it's uh, not going to be as strong. And so if I were going to buy them for growing I would rather have two of these as opposed to one of those. So you'd be better off I think using a couple of these versus one of those. That's just my opinion but it really depends on your application and how you're using these and uh, and all but anyway that's um I'll set up and you clean all this up, but um, hope you found that useful. And I'll show you the time lapse too. The time lapse was a little um, had some hiccups, but um, I'll try to clean it up. But but I'll show you that next. Uh, so anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you like that. Please like, comment, and subscribe.